So within this, what we call a biodynamic approach to giving an osteopathic treatment, we're seeking to cultivate more of a conversational dynamic. It's different, it's unique within the Western health sciences in the way that uh, we're seeking to to avoid a purely intellectual uh, abstract application of distinct diagnosis and treatment techniques. Instead, the process of diagnosis and treatment gets blended into a single moment that's more like a dance. It's more like uh, an observation of motion taking place within the body of the patient and a deep, deep listening on the part of the practitioner. 90% of my effort has to be devoted to deep sensory listening in order to open my awareness to responses from everywhere, anywhere, at any moment within the patient's body to which I can then adjust myself the forces that I'm bringing to bear in order to bring a level of precision to the corrective force taking place. And if I'm doing my job well, I'm following the process, not leading it. I'm allowing the responses that occur in the body to, to guide the process because I understand that within those activated motions, within those responses, lies the intelligent voice and self-correcting process of this patient's health taking place. So I follow that and <clears throat> the patient's system has an opportunity to experience a different kind of integrated motion and the areas that are tight and dysfunctional tend to respond by blending back into the rest of the system. The goal really ends up becoming much like, try, like crafting a, a piece of music with multiple layers all working together in concert and harmony. I want this body to feel as though everything moving, everything breathing and taking place is oriented to a single moment in time, a single fulcrum with any change occurring in harmony, in a way that's blended and homogenous through the whole. And when that moment occurs on the treatment table, it's transformational.